Welcome to Moyana Saloon, where you can see two very, very tired and very, very relieved people. You have to um, face your life once a day. I would never want to repeat today. It's been a eye-opener yeah so after the last video and we didn't film anything because we were quite literally too scared um to the point of the girl uh, the winds blowing 43 mile an hour um swell was in excess of 1.6 meters according to um port control here um visibility was so bad there was a couple of yachts near us um calling in pan pan um, we were in discussions with port control as to how can we get in safely um, and port control alerted coast guard to our scenario and the other boats the rnli came out to uh, to guide us in um i was feeling sobering very sobering so seasick would never ever want to go through that again um but here we are now in a really flat, calm, beautiful... That's not true. <laughs> this is known as a bolt hole, um, which is... Um, what was the expression? Um, bomb proof. Bomb proof. And um, we had to go around four times to get the boat in and up into a pontoon berth. It was very, very difficult. The winds <laughs> were horrendous. And uh, sorry to the other person that I glanced my boat off their boat. Um, no damage, thankfully. And the irony was, we went to Pwithelli to avoid coming in to Milford Haven in that kind of weather. So, we what got does it that anyway. tell you about life? Um, you'll get it anyway. Just get on with it. Do it. Uh, the great news is, is um, we did get met, met, meted. Yes, we got met by um, an old friend of mine, Andrew, who brought us fish and chips. So the first thing we did was uh, eat fish and chips. And we've had a bit of a rest and now we're going to have more of a sleep. It was, I, I watch for the big videos. There's footage. I left the camera running um, and the lifeboat circling us. It's all very, very exciting. Um, and we're alive. Yeah, yeah. Say it now. Um, we are alive. Yeah. We are alive and, uh, and well.